are going to learn about transcription in prokaryotes. So we'll just look at this picture. Here we could see a transcription bubble. So five prime region and three prime region is there. In the case of coding strand, along with that, a three prime to five prime orientation is seen in case of template strand. With the help of that template strand, an nascent RNA is created. Okay, so DNA is there, actosite region is there. Then direction of polymerization is from three prime to five prime direction. Then template strand we could see an nascent RNA is also there. So this whole structure is termed as a transcription bubble. Okay, so transcription prokaryotes. We were learning about transcription in prokaryotes. The process of synthesis of RNA by copying the template strand of DNA is called a transcription. During the application, entire genome is copied, but in transcription, only the selected portion of genome is copied. The enzyme involved in transcription is RNA polymerase, and like DNA polymerase, it can initiate transcription by itself. It does not require primase. More exactly, it is a DNA dependent RNA polymerase. DNA dependent RNA polymerase. So here we could see one more depiction of this step of transcription in case of prokaryotes. Five prime to three prime direction orientation. Um, then a rewinding of DNA is there. Coding strand. Nucleotide being added to the three prime end of the RNA. Then DNA RNA hybrid region. NTPs. Then polymerase movement will be taking place. Unwinding of DNA is happening. So these are the major processes involved in transcription. So RNA polymerase is the major enzyme involved in this. So the steps of transcription include initiation, elongation and termination. We must be learning this. So the steps of transcription. Transcription is an enzymatic process. The mechanism of transcription completes in three major steps. First is about initiation, closed complex formation, open complex formation and tertiary complex formation. These are the three Minor process is happening in case of initiation. Closed complex formation, open complex formation and tertiary complex formation. Now for it, we are learning about the transcription in case of prokaryotes. Okay. So closed complex formation, open complex formation along with tertiary complex formation. Then elongation along with that termination. Termination is of two types, rho dependent and rho independent. What is rho? We will be learning later. So initiation. The transcription is initiated by RNA polymerase holoenzyme from a specific point called promoter sequence. The transcription is initiated by RNA polymerase holoenzyme. That's a holoenzyme from a specific point called promoter sequence. Bacterial RNA polymerase is the principal enzyme involved in transcription. Single RNA polymerase is found in a bacteria which is called cold po core polymerase. Single RNA polymerase is found in a bacteria which is called core polymerase and it consists of alpha, alpha, beta and some other subunits. The core enzyme binds to specific sequence on template DNA strand called promoter. The binding of core polymerase to promoter is facilitated and specified by sigma factor. So prokaryotic RNA polymerase, holoenzyme enzyme subunit is there size is shown function is also shown chain initiation and interaction with regulatory proteins chain initiation and elongation dna binding promote recognition etc the core polymerase along with sigma factor is called holoenzyme rna polymerase holoenzyme in case of e coli promoter consists of two conserved sequences 5 prime t t g a c a 3 prime at 3 to 5 element long and another one with 10 element long. The sequences are upstream to the site from which transcription begins. Binding of holoenzyme to two conserved sequences of promoter from close complex, form co close complex, close complex formation and open complex formation along with one more thing which I forgot. I'm sorry. Tertiary complex formation. This will be taking place. Okay. So in some bacteria, the altered promoter may exist which contain up element and some may contain extended 10 element rather than 35 elements so promoter is there 35 region 10 region sigma factor rna polymerase and plus one transcription start site 
So region one it includes 1.2 and 1.1 region. Region 1.1 acts as a molecular mimic of DNA, etc. We will be learning about this. The UP element is recognized by a carbon cell terminal domain of alpha subunit called alpha CTD carboxyl terminal domain which is connected to alpha NTD amino terminal domain by flexible link. So closed complex is there. Binding of RNA polymerase holoenzyme to the promoter sequence from closed complex. Binding of RNA polymerase holoenzyme to the promoter sequence from closed complex. Then open complex. After formation of closed complex, the RNA polymerase holoenzyme separates 10 to 14 bases extending from minus 11 to plus 3 called melting. So that open complex is formed. This changing from closed complex to open complex is called isomerization. Tertiary complex is there, 3 prime, 5 prime region, DNA polymerase, direction of transcription, DNA double helix, clamp, ribonucleoside, triphosphate and red uh, newly synthesized RNA transcript, RNA exit channel, short region of DNA or RNA helix, active site, ribonucleotide side, triphosphate uptake channel. RNA polymerase starts synthesizing nucleotide. It does not require the help of primase. If the enzyme synthesizes short RNA molecules of less than 10 base pair, it does not further along it, which is called abortive initiation. This is because of sigma 3.2 axis mic of RNA and it lies at middle of RNA exit channel and open complex. When the RNA polymerase manages to synthesize RNA more than 10 base pair long, it ejects the Sigma 3.2 region and RNA further lung it and exist from exit from RNA exit channel. This is the formation of tertiary complex. Later, elongation process will be taking place. After synthesis of RNA more than 10 base pair long, the sigma factor is ejected and the enzyme move along the 5 prime, 3 prime direction continuously synthesizing RNA. The synthesized DNA exist from DNA exit channel. I'm sorry, exit from DNA exit channel. The synthesized RNA is proofreads by hydrolytic editing. For this, the polymerase backtrack by one or more nucleotide and cleavage the RNA, removing the error and synthesize the correct one. The GRE factor enhances this proofreading process. Pyrophospholytic editing, another mechanism of removing altered nucleotide. Then termination, there are two mechanisms of termination, polyusite uh, hairpin loop is formed. We learned earlier there are two mechanisms of termination, like row independent one and row dependent one. In this mechanism of row independent one, we are talking about row independent method. In this mechanism, transcription is terminated due to specific sequence in terminator DNA. The terminated DNA contains invert repeat which cause complementary pairing as transcript RNA from hairpin structure. This invert repeat is followed by large number of AAAA on template DNA. The URAS will appear in RNA. The load of hairpin structure is not tolerated by AU base pair. So the RNA gets separated from RNA DNA heteroduplex. Then row dependent regions, prokaryotic transcription, row dependent trans termination is happening. Row attaches to recognition site on RNA. Row moves along RNA following RNA. Then RNA polymerase pauses at terminator. And row unwinds RNA DNA hybrid in and termination RNA polymerase row and RNA. In this mechanism, transcription is terminated by row protein. It is ring shaped single strand binding ATPase protein. The row protein binds to the single stranded RNA as it exits from polymerase enzyme complex and hydrolyzes the RNA from enzyme complex. The row protein does not bind to those RNA whose protein is being translated, rather, it binds to RNA after translation. In bacteria, transcription and translation occur simultaneously, so the row protein binds the RNA after translation has completed, but transcription is still on. So that's all about this topic of transcription in eukaryotes, I'm sorry, prokaryotes. Later we'll be learning about transcription in eukaryotes.